So now let's see how we can utilize the eyedropper tool inside of Adobe Fresco. So in order to use the eyedropper tool, first of all, I'm going to go over here on the left side and see this icon right here. This is the eyedropper tool. So once I click on it, what happens is that this circle appears right over here. So the bottom part shows the current color which is selected and the top part will show the new color. So it is simply a color selection tool, but unlike going over here and selecting a particular color, this helps us to sample out a color right from the canvas that we're working in and gets a color for us. So let's say, for example, if I were to move this here, you can see that now the this uh, part of the uh, eyedropper tool becomes blue. So it is a bit of light blue and that color has been taken as a sample right here, as you can see. So I can use any other tool that color has been taken as a sample. So I can simply draw around with that particular color. So let's just go back to eyedropper tool again. And now if I were to go over here, you can see that now that pink color, that magenta color has been selected out. You go here, that red color has been selected out. And if I were to go to some other color, just like this, you can see that I can simply draw around just like that. So let us go to eyedropper tool again, just like this and go around. If I want another shade of color, I can simply go over here and change that out manually as well, just like this. One of the things that eyedropper tool in Adobe Fresco can do is select multicolor as well. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go around here and you can see that as I select the eyedropper tool, you have this option available as well. So once I click on it, what happens is that multiple colors are selected. So if I were to go over here, you can see that there's a shade of uh, green right here till the shade of red. So all of the colors are selected and you can see the, um, the reflection right here. I can also go over here, do the same just like this. So let's just go over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tool right here. And once I draw, you can see that all the colors are here. So you want a mixer of colors, then this is something you can do. I can also increase out the value right here, just like this. And this is how the watercolor seems like, as you can see. So you, you want to create like a color mixture, then that is very helpful as well. So let's try that out again. So I'm just going to go to the eyedropper tool. And then if I were to move uh, so it somewhere around here, you can see that now I get this as a brush. So if I were to go to uh, another brush just like this, draw around, and you can see that that color has been used around. So whatever you take as an eyedropper tool right here, you can see that it converts that into a brush and you're able to use it as watercolor, as anything else, just like this. So you can use it as watercolor, just like that, or oil color as well. Right. So over here, you can see that this is how it looks like. So that is how you can use the eyedropper tool inside of Adobe Fresco. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.